All right, so you want to learn how to draft plumbing systems in AutoCAD? Great. First things first, you need to get AutoCAD set up on your computer. Don't worry, it's easier than you might think. Just download the software from the Autodesk website and follow the installation instructions. It's pretty straightforward like installing any other program. Once AutoCAD is installed, open it up and you'll be greeted by a blank canvas, your drawing area. Before you start drawing, it's important to set the units to something that makes sense for plumbing, like inches or millimeters. To do this, just type units in the command line at the bottom of the screen and hit enter. Select the units you want to use and you're good to go. Now you need to create a new drawing. Click on the new button, usually represented by a blank sheet of paper icon. You can choose from various templates, but for now just start with a basic template. Think of this like choosing the right size paper for your drawing. That's it for the basic setup. You're now ready to start drawing your plumbing plans like a pro. Remember, if you ever get stuck, AutoCAD has a great help system built right in. Just press F1 on your keyboard or click the question mark icon. Now let's move on to creating your base plan. Every great plumbing plan starts with a solid base plan. This is basically a bird's eye view of the building you're working on. You can either import an existing floor plan or draw one yourself. If you're importing, make sure it's a DWG file, AutoCAD's native format. To import, go to Insert and then Attach. Find your DWG file and click Open. You might need to scale and position it correctly on your drawing area. If you're drawing the floor plan yourself, use basic AutoCAD tools like lines, polylines and rectangles. It's like drawing with a digital ruler and pencil. Remember to keep it simple and accurate. Next, let's talk about layers. Think of layers like transparent sheets you can stack on top of each other. Each layer holds different information like walls, doors or, in our case, plumbing. Create layers for your plumbing fixtures, water supply lines and drainage systems. This keeps your drawing organized and easy to manage. To create a layer, click the Layer Properties button which looks like a light bulb with the sun over it. Click New Layer and give it a name like Plumbing Fixtures. You can assign different colors and line types to each layer to make them easily distinguishable. That's your base plan sorted. Now you have a clear canvas to start adding your plumbing design. Remember, accuracy is key in plumbing, so take your time and get it right. Up next, we'll dive into the world of plumbing symbols. Plumbing drawings use a standard set of symbols to represent different fixtures and components. These symbols are like a universal language that all plumbers understand. You can't just draw a pretty picture of a toilet and call it a day. Luckily, AutoCAD has built in libraries of these symbols, so you don't have to draw each one from scratch. To access them, go to the Insert tab and click Insert Component. Choose the plumbing category and browse through the available symbols. Now, you can either use the built-in symbols or create your own custom library. Creating your own library gives you more control and consistency across your projects. To create a symbol, simply draw it using AutoCAD's tools and then define it as a block. A block is like a stamp that you can use to place the same symbol multiple times. To create a block, select the symbol you drew, type block in the command line and follow the prompts. Give your block a descriptive name like toilet underscore side view. Once you have a collection of blocks, you can save them as a drawing file and then import them into any new drawing. This way you'll have your own custom plumbing symbol library ready to go. Next up, we'll learn how to place these symbols on your base plan. Now that you have your base plan and plumbing symbols ready, it's time to start placing those fixtures. This is where your plumbing design really starts to take shape. Select the fixture symbol you need from the library and click on the drawing area to place it. When placing fixtures, always refer to your base plan and make sure they are positioned accurately. Remember to consider things like wall clearances, door swings and accessibility. You don't want your toilet to block the bathroom door, right? Once you've placed a fixture, you can use AutoCAD's editing tools to move, rotate or copy it. For example, you can use the copy command to quickly place multiple identical fixtures, like sinks in a double vanity. It's also a good practice to annotate your fixtures with labels and callouts. This makes your drawing easier to understand, especially for contractors on site. You can add text using the text command and then use leader lines to connect the text to the corresponding fixture. Clear and concise annotation is key to a professional looking plumbing board now that we know how to place fixtures. Let's move on to connecting them with water supply lines. 
Section 5, Water Supply Lines from Source to Fixture. With your fixtures in place, it's time to connect them to the water supply. This involves drawing lines to represent the pipes that will carry water to each fixture. AutoCAD makes it easy to draw these lines accurately and efficiently. Start by selecting the Line tool and choose a layer for your water supply lines, like Water Supply. Now, click on the connection point of your fixture, like the bottom of a sink, and then click on the point where you want the pipe to connect to the main water supply line. You can use different line types and thicknesses to differentiate between hot and cold water lines. For instance, you can use a solid line for cold water and a dash line for hot water. This makes your drawing clear and easy to understand. As you draw your water supply lines, remember to add valves where necessary. Valves are important for isolating sections of the plumbing system for maintenance or repairs. You can find valve symbols in your plumbing library or draw your own. Make sure to label your valves clearly so everyone knows what they control. Now that your fixtures are hooked up to the water supply, let's move on to the drainage system. Section 6. Drainage Systems – Gravity at Work Drainage systems rely on gravity to carry wastewater away from fixtures and into the sewer system. When drawing drainage lines, you need to consider the slope or gradient of the pipes to ensure proper flow. A general rule of thumb is a quarter inch slope per foot of pipe. Similar to water supply lines, select the line tool and choose a layer for your drainage lines, like drainage. Start drawing lines from each fixture, connecting them to larger drain lines that eventually lead to the main sewer line. Remember to include fittings like elbows, T's and Y's to connect pipes at different angles and branches. You can find these fittings in your plumbing library or draw them yourself. Always double check that your drainage lines have the correct slope to ensure proper flow. Additionally, it's important to indicate the diameter of each drain line. Different fixtures require different drain sizes. For example, a toilet typically requires a larger drain than a bathroom sink. You can add this information as text labels next to the lines or by using different line thicknesses to represent different pipe sizes. Up next, we'll tackle vent lines, an often overlooked but crucial part of a well-functioning plumbing system. Section 7, Vent Lines Keeping Things Flowing Smoothly. Vent lines might seem mysterious, but they play a crucial role in ensuring your plumbing system functions properly. They prevent traps from being siphoned dry, allowing wastewater and sewer gases to flow smoothly. Without proper venting, you risk slow drainage, gurgling sounds, and even sewer gases backing up into your home. Not a pleasant thought. When drawing vent lines, you'll generally connect them to the drain lines near fixtures and run them vertically upwards. They need to terminate above the roof line to vent gases safely outside. Use the line tool and choose a layer for your vent lines, like vent. As with other plumbing lines, you'll need to use fittings like elbows and tees to connect vent lines to drain lines and to each other. You'll also need to indicate the diameter of the vent pipes, which varies depending on the fixtures they serve. Remember to consult local plumbing codes to determine the correct sizing and placement of vent lines. Building codes can be a bit of a headache, but they're there to ensure the safety and functionality of your plumbing system. Next up, we'll add dimensions to your drawing to make it crystal clear for anyone who reads it. Section 8. Dimensioning. Adding clarity and precision. Dimensions are crucial in any technical drawing, especially plumbing plans. They provide precise measurements that contractors rely on during installation. AutoCAD offers a variety of dimensioning tools to make this task straightforward. To add dimensions, select the Dimension tool from the Annotate tab. Choose the type of dimension you need, such as linear, aligned or angular. Then click on the points you want to dimension. For example, to dimension the length of a pipe, click on its starting and ending points. It's important to use a consistent dimensioning style throughout your drawing. Specify the units, precision, text height and arrowhead style. You can save these settings as a dimension style for future use. A clean and consistent dimensioning style makes your drawings look professional and easy to understand. When adding dimensions, focus on key measurements that are essential for installation, such as pipe lengths, distances between fixtures and clearances from walls. Don't overcrowd your drawing with unnecessary dimensions. Keep it clear and concise. Now that your drawing is properly dimensioned, let's move on to the final checks and touches. 
Section 9. Final Checks and Touches Before you call your plumbing drawing complete, it's crucial to perform a thorough check for any errors or omissions. This step is like a final inspection before handing over your work to the contractors. First, double check that all fixtures are properly connected to both the water supply and drainage systems. Ensure that all lines have the correct slope and diameter. Verify that vent lines are properly connected and routed to the exterior. Next, review your annotations and dimensions. Ensure that all fixtures and components are clearly labeled. Confirm that all dimensions are accurate and placed in logical locations. It's also a good practice to run AutoCAD's built-in audit and error checking tools. These tools can help identify potential problems with your drawing, such as missing layers or invalid objects. Once you've addressed any errors, you can add the title block to your drawing. The title block typically includes information like the project name, drawing title, your name, date and revision number. You can create a custom title block or use one of AutoCAD's templates. A well-formatted title block adds a professional touch to your work. Now let's move on to the final step, exporting and printing your masterpiece. Section 10, from screen to paper, printing and exporting. You've put in the hard work and your plumbing drawing is complete. Now it's time to share it with the world, whether by printing it out or exporting it as a digital file. To print your drawing, go to the Output tab and click Plot. Select your printer, paper size and orientation. You can preview the printout before sending it to the printer. Make sure to choose a print scale that ensures all details are legible. For digital sharing, you can export your drawing as a PDF file. This format preserves the layout and quality of your drawing and can be easily viewed on different computers and devices. To export as a PDF, go to the Output tab and click Export PDF. When exporting, you can choose from various settings such as quality, resolution and file size. For sharing with contractors or clients, a medium quality PDF is usually sufficient. You can also password protect your PDF file to prevent unauthorized access or modifications. Congratulations, you now know how to create professional looking plumbing drawings in AutoCAD. But your learning journey doesn't stop here. Let's explore some tips for mastering AutoCAD and taking your skills to the next level. Section 11, Mastering AutoCAD, Practice, Resources and Community. Learning AutoCAD is a journey, not a destination. The more you practice, the more comfortable and proficient you'll become. Start by working through tutorials and exercises, gradually moving on to more complex projects. Don't be afraid to experiment with different tools and features. AutoCAD is a vast and powerful software with endless possibilities. The more you explore, the more you'll discover its full potential. Thankfully, you're not alone in this journey. There are countless online resources available to help you along the way. Websites like Autodesk's own knowledge base, YouTube channels dedicated to AutoCAD tutorials, and online forums where you can connect with other users and ask for help. Engage with the AutoCAD community, ask questions, share your work and learn from others. Participating in forums and online discussions can provide valuable insights and accelerate your learning process. Remember, mastering AutoCAD takes time and dedication. Be patient with yourself, celebrate your progress, and never stop learning. With persistence and the right resources, you'll be creating stunning plumbing drawings and tackling even the most challenging projects with confidence.